Berated, abused, misunderstood, but deep down the referees are quite decent chaps and good sports as well, as we found out when they allowed the Total Rugby cameras into one of their fitness camps recently. Favourite to be last, I reckon, eh? <laughs> if Jubbs wasn't injured, GB, he would be another hot favourite. It's just getting old, um, uh, Martin, you know, uh, we aren't spring chickens anymore, and so, you know, you got to strap yourself together and get yourself in one piece for these kind of things. A bit of late money on uh, Jacko Papo, is, is he also right up there, fellow South African? Tell you what, I'd make him the favourite, yeah, I'd, I'd put him at even odds. He's, uh, he's a good athlete, he's a little guy, turns like the wind. Tell you what, for me, he's your favourite. The first test was the 40-metre sprint. Chris Pollock gave it everything. And Nigel Owens and Steve Walsh both looked pretty sharp. Wayne Barnes had good technique. Romain Poit, perhaps not quite so smooth. The tests are important. The pace of the modern game demands high levels of speed and endurance. But the fastest referee is Ireland's John Lacey. No surprise there, he's a former Munster winger. The second part of the testing was the yo-yo run, which measures endurance. There was no escaping this one. Repeated 20-metre runs completed in progressively quicker times, the dreaded beeps. It must have seemed like an eternity, but the last men standing were two South Africans. Craig Joubert finished second. But as predicted, his compatriot Jaco Piper was the winner. And it's our thanks to all the referees for allowing us to sneak into their camp. <laughs> <laughs>